Hello everybody, um, I wanted to show you an application, a small application that I created with the Java programming language. Uh, with this application what happens is basically um, you add uh, something to a table in a database. Database I used a SQL database but you can use any kind of database that you want to use. It can be SQL, it can be Oracle, it can be DB2 or SAP or whatever the database you want to use. Um, let me go ahead and open up this thing here. Let's delete all these things. Yes. Okay. Let me go to command prompt. Open it up. Go to um, driver. And uh, bam. Bam. Okay. Before I um, show you the code here, I let me show you like really quick here what I used here. What I basically used is um, I use SQL, I use Swing components here, I use JFrame. This is some sort of a um, standalone desktop application. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, compile these source files. Java C compile all of these things. So if you want to compile all those uh, Java code, Java files in a um, folder, all you gotta do is Java C start a Java. So it's gonna compile everything in the folder. Let me pull it up here so you can see what's gonna happen when I press enter. Okay. Bam. As you can see, all these class files have been created here. Um, okay, so what happens is here I got big menu here, delete menu, delete here, insert, search, update, view list, and navigation. Okay, let me run this big menu so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, as you can see, this is really, really, really simple um, GUI application. Okay, here there's like two different menu options here record ops and transactions. In the transactions, uh, what happens is you can navigate, view, or search the information or rows in the table in the SQL database. And with this option, you can basically play around with the database, the table in the database. You can insert something into the table, update a row in the table, or delete a row in the table. Okay. Um, let me first go ahead and open up the SQL database. Connect to my database. New query. I want to go to my own my database. Select start from Java SQL. Java SQL is a table that I created here. So, bam. When you select here and click on execute, it's going to bring up the table that you have in this database. Okay. So as you can see here, I have employee number. This is my table. These are the rows that I have here. As you can see, employee number, name, department, designation, and basic. Um, employee number is my primary key, so it's some sort of like social security number of the table for the rows in this. So what happens is when I put the employee number, it's going to bring up the row here. So there cannot be two different like same names with different like rows. It's gonna bring up a problem. Okay. So let's say I want to see. Okay, when I click on here, it says you click the view list button. Okay. So what happens is here, it's gonna show you the first row. Okay, as you can see here, it's gonna bring in this first row, but I cannot go through different rows in the table because I don't have that option here so what I need to do is I need to navigate so there's another JFrame here I gotta expand it a little bit okay so 
it's basically the same thing as this one, view list one, but I, I want to navigate through my table here. So when I click on next, it's going to go to the next row in the table, as you can see, which is here. Okay, I want to go to the next one, the third one here, the next one, employee number is 32, name is a weird name here. It's just some sort of data that I put inside. Okay, bam, bam, bam. As you can see, you can go through everywhere here. The last one, the first one, the last one, previous one, next one, this and that. Okay, let's go ahead and see the other options here. Okay, transaction search. So, how the hell am I going to search something in my table? Okay, I got to use my primary key. So, what you do is you put the, the employee number here, let's say 32. 32 is WEQ first name or the name and department his department is ADAST so um, let's go ahead and find this guy out oops BAM as you can see brought up all the information from this employee number let's say I want to find Bobby with the employee number 77 okay search okay as you can see, I could see all the information here. Okay, um, let's say I want to add something to the database. What happens is, let's click on the insert frame here, and brought up the insert. Okay, I want to add something to the table that doesn't exist in the table here. As you can see, let me pull it up on your way. Okay, so you can see. I want to put a like let's say I want to put a 90 number 90 into my database his employee number is 90 his name should be Jerry his department is um, Java his designation is professional okay his basic is the number integer that I needed to put okay let's say 90 90 insert I got the message here that says record inserted. Let's see if it's inserted or not. Let's execute this query here. Okay. Boom. As you can see here, that um, information has been inserted into the database. Okay, let's say I want to delete this guy from here. I don't want him to be here. Let's go ahead and uh, delete it. You click the delete button his employee number is 90 so I click on 90 delete it record delete it and let's go back to my database SQL database here execute it BAM he's gone okay let's see what else I can do with this I want to update something in my table okay let's say I want to update this guy with a weird name I wanna give him a good name here or well I cannot give him a good name because I didn't put the label and stuff I can change his designation here let's change Bobby's um, designation he's a funny guy I don't want him to be funny I want him to be serious so what's Bobby's employee number 77 okay his designation is funny but I want him to be serious guy and his basic is 54, 53, I want him to be 56, 57. Updated, record updated. Let's try to find this Bobby here. Go back to the database, again select it, execute it. Ooh, Bobby became a serious guy with a different designation name. So, um, I think I'm running out of my time that I can upload it on the YouTube. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to explain the code here all these codes here that like makes these things happen here as you can see JDBC connection, SQL um, server connection and stuff so um, thank you for watching